And we're going to start this fly with a size 12 steamer hook and white thread. And you can use a lot thicker thread than the 70 dinar we used to we use because it's a streamer. Okay, now I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Don Russell of Everything Fly Fishing and Everything Fly Fishing Blue Tide Flies. It's just don't catch fishermen, it catches fish, what they're really meant to do. So, welcome to Everything Fly Fishing. Make sure you hit that like button, give us a comment on how you like this fly, and subscribe. Now, we're going to tie in some bucktail, the white buck part of the bucktail to represent the tail on this. But it's supposed to look like a red tail mini. Pennsylvania's finest mini that everybody in Pennsylvania is going to be using on April 1st, the first day of trial. I'm going to tie that, the rest of that tail all the way up to the eye of the hook. We're going to wrap some thread wraps, kind of like you're ribbing it. What you're doing is creating an underbody. As you'll realize later, as I explain, as this fly goes on, it's kind of a technique I developed. This kind of fly I just created. Take a little piece of red thread and put it on the side of the this fly and this just gives it the red tail it's a little red the natural actual mini has a little red in its tail and I think it makes a natural hot spot for the trout and that's why they love it so much but we're gonna put a little piece of thread in there to represent the red in the tail of this fish I'm going to tie in some crystal flash. Now you can either tie this in and cover up all of that white. That's why the white's there. The white will shine through your crystal flash. And it'll just add flash. I just kind of rib it. I'm just, I'm just adding flash to this ear hair. So, you know, I'm just kind of adding flash to the white belly of the, what's supposed to be the fish. Now we're going to turn that hook over or just rotate your vise. I, you can actually take it out and just turn it over if you don't have rotation. That's easy. And so because we're going to tie the white in or the belly of this minnow in first. Turn the hook back over the other way, and now we're going to tie in the brown or the back of this minnow. I'm going to cover up, make a whole head, and then cover it all up white. Any brown or anything shining through, I'm going to make a head. Minnow head, what is all white? Gonna make it white and then we're gonna whip finish it no don't go anywhere we got a lot yet to do we're not even close yet well we're close but 
that I like to do on this flight. Okay, now you're gonna take a little bit of black fingernail polish or black paint or whatever you want to use. Can't use marker, I tried marker and the whole head turned black. You don't want that. Just a little stop of black to represent an eye. That was head cement. I use Sally Henson's. Hard as nails, that stuff dries hard, lasts forever, and don't stink once it dries as bad. So I use that. So a little bit of, after that eye dries, hit that up, clear coat that, seal it all off. You got a heck of a nice looking fly, right? Check that out. Beautiful. You and me. Hey, long ride. Hope you guys like that fly. I didn't Deli streamer. I mean, only one baby deli that's so big, but you know, I'm partial to that one. But anyway, you guys, thank you for the, another time video. Make sure you put these in your box with deli's hat, especially here in PA. So keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them native fish a sore lip. You have a good one. Peace.